Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited for today's video because today we are actually heading to Washington, DC. It's about an hour and a half away from where we live, which is not a bad drive at all, but that's where my brother and sister-in-law live, Jeremy's brother and his wife, and they actually just had a baby. So we're gonna go hang out with our nephew today, but also Jiu's never been to Washington, DC, and Jiu is our exchange student who's living with us this year. So um, we are going to head to DC first. We're gonna at least show her probably around the National Mall before we head to see our family but DC also has a lot of great thrifting so the plan is to do all of that and then also go thrifting afterward so we're about to leave to go to DC but I also went garage sailing this morning because one of my local communities was having a community garage sale and I did find some good things to resell so first we're gonna give you a montage of our DC trip and thrifting with me at the thrift store in DC. And then I'll come back here and show you guys what I got at garage sales and also what I got at that thrift store. So it's gonna be fun. Let's head to DC together. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are back home. Wasn't that so fun? We had an amazing time walking around Washington, DC. We always do. I was just telling Jeremy we need to go there more often because there's just so much to do there. So many museums, so many beautiful pieces of architecture. It's amazing. Highly recommend it if you're in the area. But we made it back home. It's the next day. And I have the things here to show you that I bought. I ended up spending, I think about 60 or 70 dollars at the thrift store and then i spent like 10 11 dollars when i went garage sailing so i'm going to show you guys first what i got at the garage sales and then we're going to jump into what i found at the thrifty which turned out to be an excellent amazing thrift store and i highly recommend that too so let me show you guys first what i got at the garage sales so <laughs> our garage sales at least where i live near baltimore are absolutely insane. The garage sales near me start at 7 a.m. and they end at noon and they're only one day garage sales. They're very intense. So I got there around like maybe 7.20. And so I still have really good pick of the different things. The first garage sale I went to, I got five different pairs of jeans at. And I think they were asking like two or $3 for each and I ended up getting them all for a buck a piece, which is not bad. So I found five different pairs of American Eagle jeans. These aren't going to sell for a ton, but American Eagle jeans sell pretty quickly, generally speaking, at least in my experience. So I picked up five of them. These are all pretty small. This one is the high rise jegging. They are in this like burgundy color in a size two. So a burgundy size two skinny jean. And then we have another pair here that I just grabbed. It has a raw edge hem, really trendy of course. And these are the high rise jegging crop 
in a size two. And then we have a darker wash pair as well. Also a skinny, I'm assuming these are all gonna be probably the same thing. They're a jegging crop in a size two. This kind of more mid-wash pair of skinny jeans in a size four. They're just a skinny jean. And then this lighter wash pair as well in a skinny leg in the jegging in a size two. So I got all five of those for $5. And she also threw this shirt in for free since I bought all of those. And this is just a really cool Scooby-Doo graphic shirt. And it definitely feels like thin, not the best quality, but Scooby-Doo is a really loyal following. And since we're heading into Halloween, it might be able to sell for close to, I don't know, 15 bucks. I'd be happy with that, I got it for free. So for each of those pairs of jeans, I bought them for a dollar, and I bet I can sell them between 15 and 20 bucks a piece, making about $10 a profit on each pair. So we're looking at maybe 60 or 70 dollars from that $5 investment right now, which is not bad at all. And that is definitely being conservative as well. And then the next garage sale I went to, I got just two things. They are these Baltimore Ravens little winter hats. This one's just a regular beanie. This one is the foldover beanie but Baltimore Ravens is very, very popular where I live because I live very close to Baltimore. So I got these each for a dollar. And for those, I'll probably be able to resell them around $15, maybe 20 at the most for each one. And then we made it to my favorite garage sale that I got things at. I went to one other garage sale that had amazing things. They had these little baby Patagonia jackets. They had a new Attack's Badgley Mishka dress and a size four, a Kate Spade purse. Like they had lots of nice things, but they were selling at their garage sale all of those things for $50 a piece. Like for, especially for the baby like Patagonia pieces, you could maybe sell them online for like 40, 50 bucks, but it's selling online. So I just think they're asking a lot for it being a garage sale, but you know, it's it's your garage sale, you can do what you want. But I definitely thought, I don't think they're gonna sell anything from those pieces, but I would have bought them if they were reasonable. Like 10 bucks or below, I probably would have bought those Patagonia pieces. But then <laughs> this garage sale that I went to after that one was so reasonable and the people were so nice. I love going to those sorts of garage sales. So I ended up buying quite a few things here actually. I used almost all of my cash. I only had $10 in cash. So I had to use Venmo at one of the garage sales. But the first thing that I picked up is this just North Face little sweatshirt. It's a women's size extra small. It does have, I think they probably cut this themselves right here, a little V-neck. Um, but still, I think I can resell this probably around 30 bucks. And I paid 50 cents for that. So very reasonable. And then they also had jewelry there. So I actually got this necklace that I'm wearing right now from them for 75 cents. I just thought it was a cute little gold necklace, super dainty and cute. So I'm sporting that today. And then I found two pairs of clip earrings for GU because she does not have her ears pierced. So those were 25 cents a piece. This is one of the most exciting things of the day. She had little baggies of Littlest Pet Shop. So if you guys don't know what these are, this is what they look like. I picked the ugliest one to show you. Also, they're all inside these shoes I also got. So um, they're keeping them safe in there. These are these really popular little like bobblehead pieces. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got like nine of these for $1. <laughs> so it was 50 cents a bag. She had two bags. This is one of them. It's like a little alligator. The cow, I think, is absolutely freaking adorable. Well, that's not good. So, like, here's a little kitty cat one. This one, I think, is adorable. It's like a little, like, bug, little butterfly, maybe. So, a little hedgehog, maybe. So, I think the beaver might be my favorite. Look at his little tail. So cute. But I got all of those for 10 cents a piece. And I was doing some research, at least on Poshmark, I saw them selling individual ones for about $8 a pop. So, I have 10 of these, so I should be able to make at least 50 bucks from all these Littlest Pet Shops. Some of these might be more rare or more desirable. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've had a Littlest Pet Shop, so I will definitely have to do some research, but there's the LPS on the back, and they are so freaking cute. So, got those for $1, and then I also got these shoes that you saw me holding the Littlest Pet Shops in. It's just a pair of Toms, but they have these sea turtles on them, and they are in pretty good condition. They just have some like more like dirt wear, but these were actually free. They were in a free box. So I decided to grab these and they're in a youth size five and a half. So almost a women's size six. And I just thought they were pretty cute. I should still be able to get probably at least 15 bucks for those. And they were absolutely free. So that's amazing. 
And then the very last stop of only things I got at the last garage sale I went to were more like cosmetic things. And I usually don't buy cosmetics or things like that to resell, but I decided to do it this time. The first thing that I got, we actually, we had to leave Otis at home, our dog, while we were there in DC. And I came home, I had bought these things in the morning, we'd gone to DC, we came back, and Otis had taken the little perfume bottle off of my desk, it was wrapped in a package, it's a Burberry perfume, he's bougie AF, he took this and then destroyed the package around it and tried to bite this Burberry perfume while we were gone out of anger. What was he thinking, like, you know? But I found this cool little Burberry perfume. It was very nice. Now it has some bite marks in the cap. So I think I'm just gonna keep this one for myself at this point. It smells really good, so I'm okay with it. But I got this for a dollar. I thought it was fun. Sometimes Burberry or like nicer perfumes, nicer, even like sample size of different um, perfumes or lipsticks or things like that can go for like 20 bucks, sometimes more. So I don't know how much this would have sold for. I'm not even gonna look it up because Otis Array did a number on the package. And then everything else I got are all in their packages as well. So pretty exciting. I am very happy I ended up stopping here. This first thing is new in its box. It's a Chloe piece. And this is actually a really cute little pouch. So this is a Chloe perfume pouch which is new with tags. And you can see that the metal is still covered, which is great. And it's a little pouch where you can put either makeup or like your little tiny perfumes to go. But again, still in its box, which is amazing. I think I can probably resell this for around 30 bucks. And this again was $1. I was happy with that, a dollar. I got four different items at her sale for $4, which is amazing. I did have to pay in quarters though, because I did not bring enough money garage selling with me. So yes, I was 100% that lady that paid with quarters at this woman's garage sale. At least just two dollars, two dollars and quarters, just eight quarters. So then next up we have these two pieces. This one is also from Chloe and it is a little perfume. So this is the Nomad perfume from Chloe. And again, still in his package, definitely has never been used. Um, so this is what the package looks like. It's really nice. And then you take off the top and it has the little spring nozzle on it. So that's really, really nice. Um, I looked at comps and I think I can probably resell this right around 20 bucks. Or if I wanna keep it and give it as like a little Christmas present, I think that could be really adorable as well. It's a nice little stocking stuffer for sure. And then the last thing is one that I feel like I definitely should sell um, because I don't think I would ever use it, but I also got this little Gucci lipstick, which is really exciting. This is the Rouge à la Vert Matte in Mad Red, number 511. And again, I was looking up some information on this because it's not like I have ever bought Gucci lipstick before, um, but it does look like it can resell for like 30 bucks. So I think this is gonna be one of those things I have to sell. Again, all these pieces were $1. So then this is this absolutely gorgeous metal gold little case. And then on the top here is where it says Gucci. And then as you take it off, guys, this is just like the epitome of quality. Let's give you some like detail shot. Oh yeah, that's so nice. And then can you see that? It has Gucci inscribed into the lipstick itself. So it's really nice. It's this beautiful dark kind of berry reddish color. And it is absolutely so gorgeous. So that I think was a good pickup as well to resell. I would pick something up in the bins if I could resell it for 30 bucks. So getting something like this new in its package at a garage sale was insane. I was so happy to have found a Gucci little lipstick. How cool is that? So that is everything I got garage sailing, but then we went to Be Thrifty in Woodbridge, Virginia. So this is the name of the store that we went to. And it looks like I ended up getting 14 items for $72.99. I probably spent about five bucks per item. So it looks like yellow and orange were the colors that were half off this day. And so we got some good deals. I'm excited to share with you guys the things that I did pick up. I did have to pass on some things due to either price or comps. I did show you a few things that I found in store, but 
these are the pieces I ended up bringing home and they should make me a pretty penny. So one of the first things that I grabbed, I was in the sweater section and I saw this adorable sweater. It is a cropped number with this beautiful, like contrasting arm. I think this sleeve is beautiful. I love the colors of this gray with this cream and this really thick, nice neck. This is a very high quality piece and it feels so good. So I loved the colors and then I looked and it was an orange tag, so half off. But this is from Club Monaco, which I have recently started picking up. I've sold a few pieces and I just really like the quality of their pieces. I think that they're nice. This was marked at $4.99, but since it was half off, I paid $2.50 for this sweater. It's in a size small, but this is in a blend of 55% wool, 25% nylon, 20% cotton. So mostly wool and it feels really luxe. So I grabbed this. I'm hoping to be able to resell that between 35 and 50 bucks. And I think that that would be very acceptable to sell it at. And then the next piece that I ended up grabbing was a dress and this is actually Funny, cause I haven't found this brand for a long time, but then in my most recent hauls, I think I found it twice. But this is from the brand Super Down in a size medium. And Super Down is a brand that sold at Revolve, but this is actually new with tags. So I decided to pick it up. New with tags, it was marked at $12.99, but yellow was half off. So even though this is new with tags, I would not have picked it up for $12.99. $6.50 I thought was more reasonable, especially since it is new with tags. So I decided to grab it. I'm probably expecting to sell this. New with tags around 40, maybe 50 bucks if I'm lucky. I'll probably try to list it at 50 and just move it quickly. But I just, I thought it was cute. It has a nice little neckline. The one shoulder is very popular right now. And then that mesh is really cool. So we're gonna see how that moves, but 650, not too bad. And then if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know I love picking up sweaters that are like this. This is so cool to me. I sell these kinds of sweaters all the time for 50 to $65. Anything that is really cool and knit like this tends to perform well for me. And this one is so cute. I think that these, I think these are geese, maybe they're ducks, um, but they all have little bows on them. And then there's a farm, there's some shoulder pads, and then these cute little, plants with berries maybe on them. I literally have no idea what's going on, but I'm here for it. Maybe it's a mother goose kind of a thing, but this is from the brand Lucia, definitely vintage, and it's in a size large. Whoop. And I would say that this should sell for that 50 to 65 amount, and I paid $4.99 for it. So really cool sweater. I love selling these sorts of things, and I know I can find a good buyer for that. So I'm gonna get that listed ASAP. And then I have this amazing pink sweater. This is very soft. It's got a zipper up the front, so soft, and it definitely gives me Regina George's mom vibes <laughs> from Mean Girls, you know what I'm saying? It looks exactly like what she wore in that video. Um, but this is from Vince, and I really like reselling Vince. It's in a size small. They cut out the care tag and the inside tag on this, which I hate but it feels like it's 100% cashmere. There's at least some cashmere in this. I would bet money on it, so I am betting money on it. I picked it up for $5.99. It was a $6 investment. There's no holes in it, but I am confident that this is a cashmere blend, and it is so soft. I think it's fun that it has the hood. It's definitely, I think, a vintage, maybe like 90s Vince moment, but also Barbie core, Mean Girls, and I'm thinking too, like Legally Blonde, all of those things are really popular right now. And I think that that could be an amazing piece with those kinds of keywords in it. So I grabbed that and hopefully we'll be able to resell it around maybe 50 to $65 as well. Then next up, I grabbed a pair of Madewell jeans. Actually, Jeremy found these for me. He found me a couple different pair of Madewell jeans at this store, but the problem with a lot of them was they were the Madewell 1937 tag. So the Madewell tags that are newer look more like this. The ones that are older have usually a little bit of lighter of a font, and then underneath it, it will say something 1937. And usually those are older. But I did end up picking up this pair of jeans because this is a maternity style as well. And I have found that maternity style can do better than normal Madewell jeans. It just depends. These are the maternity skinny jeans from Madewell in a size 27. And then this is what the front looks like. And these are just a nice little black Madewell skinny jean. I'm gonna unroll them. Oh yeah, I would never roll these up. Personally, these are a cute little 
raw edge hem. I'm gonna have to probably wash it to get those kind of wrinkles out from whoever rolled them. But I just thought these were really cute and they were a pretty reasonable price at $6.99. For those, hopefully, for Madewell jeans that are maternity, I've been listing those around 50 to 65 compared to maybe like a $40 listing for a regular pair of Madewell jeans. So for those, I'll hopefully be able to sell them around 50 bucks, which would be great. And then I feel like I have definitely not been picking up as much Madewell lately. I just personally like Madewell, um, but I did pick up this Madewell sweater. It's this really fun, just like chunky green sweater from Madewell. I picked it up because it was half off. So this was marked at $4.99. I got it for $2.50. And this is the Madewell tag in a size large. And I picked it up too because it has a fun back to it. That little crossover kind of tulip style back. It looks like it's hardly ever been worn. It's a mixture of cotton, viscose, and nylon. Hopefully I'll resell this. Probably list it around $30, $35. At the end of the day, hopefully make 25 to 30 bucks off of that. If not though, it's also my size, so I could wear it as well, but I will try to sell it first for sure. And then I found this free people piece. It's actually a We The Free piece, and it's in a size small, but We The Free and Free People too generally run oversized for their newer pieces. So that's the tag. It was $4.99, which I'm, I picked this up not really with the intention of reselling it. I think I'm gonna try it on to see how it fits because normally I'm more like a large, extra large, but this is a little oversized. It's this gorgeous tan color, kind of mock neck, kind of relaxed neck, kind of tunic length piece. But I was originally thinking of getting this for my sister. I feel like she would really like this and she's actually coming out to visit me in November and she's coming over Thanksgiving. So I'm excited for her to come, but I've been kind of collecting some pieces for her so that she has some fresh pieces to wear while she's here. So I think I'm gonna keep this one for her, but it was five bucks for a free people piece. I know that she loves free people. So that was a no brainer for me. Then this next piece is something else that Jeremy found for me and he really believed in them. So I said, yeah, let's get them. I don't know much about this bring in though. So I'm excited to look into it, but these were so freaking cute. I had to grab them. They are this pair of jeans with all of this adorable embroidery on the front. We've got little raspberries, strawberries, and cherries embroidered on both legs. And these are from the brand Bliss and Mischief. If you guys have heard of that brand, let me know down below. Um, but these are in a size 25 and they have a button fly. They're really cute. This embroidery is everything. I think it's absolutely adorable. I really wanna go back to this thrift store when I have more time. We are going very quickly because we needed to get home to let Odie back out because he had been by himself all day and had eaten my Burberry perfume. But I just thought these were so freaking cute. And so the tag for Bliss and Mischief is really far inside these pants, but I'll show you the tag. So this is the Bliss and Mischief tag on the inside. Um, I think for these, I can hopefully resell these around 50 bucks. So for $5, that's probably worth it, but they're really adorable. <laughs> I was really happy to find them. I wish they were a larger size. A size 25 is pretty small, but I do think that they're adorable and should resell for at least 40 bucks. And then this is definitely a Jeremy find. I think you guys can probably tell. It is a really cool vintage crew neck for Penn State. Obviously we were in the right spot for a Penn State kind of merch piece to come up. This is really, really nice and definitely vintage. Look at this old Fruit of the Loom tag that this is printed on. So I just took off the tag. It was $5.99, which is kind of a lot, but look at this vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. It's so, you can tell that this is old, made in the USA, size large, and really a cool crew neck. And I'll probably be able to resell this right around 35 to 40 bucks. So $6 into it, it's not the best, but Penn State stuff usually moves really fast for us. So picked that up. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. This piece is another brand that I enjoy picking up. Not everybody does, that's okay. You don't always have to pick up the things I enjoy. I don't have to pick up the things you enjoy, but it is this really fun little sweater dress. It has kind of, a almost like sweatshirt vibe to the cuff of the sleeve and around the neckline for sure. But this is actually from the brand. They put these on in just the worst place. This was $5.99. Don't try that at home. <laughs> but this is from the brand Theory. And this is in a TP. So I have learned from you guys, Trace Petite, this is an extra small. It is a little extra small 
theory like sweater dress it's really cute kind of like a sweatshirt dress but the inside too just looks like terry cloth almost like a little comfy towel and this is made with 81 percent con 13 percent wool and six percent nylon so it's a wool blend really nice thick dress theory pieces do really well for me so i'm hoping to resell this at least for 50 bucks and for it being what 5.99 i don't think that's a bad price to invest in it for so hopefully right around 50 for that and if i found it in leather or silk that probably would have been even better but it was a wool blend so that's still good and then we have another piece that jeremy found he was really killing it on helping me today um but this is a nice little jacket i'm gonna try to again wash this it's just got so many wrinkles in it it looks like it was shoved in somebody's like like a bin or something under their bed you know this is a nice jacket from marmot so again, I'm gonna have to take off this tag. It was yellow and it was $7.99. So I got this for $4, which is great, but it's in a size extra small and this is what the tag looks like. But I was excited to find one in black in great condition at the thrift store for four bucks. I think that that is a steal of a deal. So there is the Marmot logo as well. It's a nice outdoors kind of brand. And after I wash this, I think that it should be really good and ready to go. I'm expecting to sell this around 50 to $65, maybe a little more depending on the comps. I wish it was a little bit larger and extra small is quite small, but I do think that it should still probably sell around that $50 mark. And then next up, we have a piece that GU found for me, actually. She does a great job when I take her with me. This is a very interesting little sweater. This was marked at $3.99, which again, I don't get pricing at Goodwills or at thrift stores in general. It is this 100% cashmere green little sweater. It has this nice little turtleneck and it's got a lot of extra fabric actually. It's this gorgeous like evergreen green color. And then it says here, made in Scotland, the Scotch house, London, Edinburgh, Paris. And it's 100% pure cashmere. Then the kicker is I looked on the bottom trying to find a size and we also have this tag, which is actually very helpful for looking up comps. So this is John Lang, and then it also is from Scotland, and then it gives me these measurements as well. But when I looked up John Lang sweaters, they were reselling for good money, like over 50 bucks, over and over. Some of them were selling for like $100. So for $3.99, I was like, okay, we're gonna definitely get this, <laughs> and I'm gonna be able to do more research at home. I held it up to many lights looking for holes. There's no holes on it, and it's a very nice sweater. Um, I don't know what those measurements translate to in a US size, but I'm saying from looking at this, it's a size medium for sure. And I do think that this is just so nice. It is very soft, high quality, love it, love picking up cashmere pieces. And so for that, hopefully we'll make at least 50 to $75. And that's a new brand to me. So I also would have picked it up even not knowing John Lang because cashmere and Scotland, those things would definitely would mix for a good listing, but I thought that was interesting. Okay, we have two more pieces. Definitely give today's video a like and keep on watching until the end to see one of my favorite pieces from the haul. But this is an interesting pickup. I grabbed these because I saw the leg sticking out. I've been really into kind of these more like bo bohemian embroidered pants lately. These are so cool. These ones have embroidered flowers all over the bottoms of the legs on both sides. And they also have some like little like elastic up at the top, but these are really cool because these are a vintage pair of Chico's pants. And at first I was like, okay, if it's vintage Chico's, will that have any resale value? So I did some research. I looked up on Poshmark what they were selling for on there. And man, they were doing really well. There weren't that many listed. And so for vintage embroidered Chico's jeans, I actually think that these are pretty a, good, a pretty good bolo. Um, but these were $4.99, but an orange tag. So I got these for $2.50. They're in a size one, which I'm assuming is like an extra large. Looking at it here, I would say these look like a size 12 probably. So probably around a size 12. Chico's design, 100% cotton jeans. And they should resell between 35 and 50 bucks for these. So picking them up for $2.50 was a no brainer. I was very happy to do so. And I do think that this kind of like fun embroidered hem kind of detail is so cute. So grab those. And that leads me into the very last piece of today's haul. 
which I am so excited about. These are an amazing pair of pants that I found in the jeans section. They had a whole section of just like leather jeans or things that were kind of like coated leather-ish looking jeans, you know? These are actually leather. These are 100% leather pants and they are stunning. So I just did up the front here. This has an asymmetric little closure on the front where you go through like a belt on the side. On here, we have a YKK zipper up the front. And then it reminds me a little bit of like a John Paul Gaultier kind of pants, more of like a designer style to have that little, um, another closure back here where it like tightens you in on the back and takes away that gap at your waistband. These are absolutely amazing. <laughs> and these are a great name to know. So let me show it to you. These are by the brand Michael Hoban for North Beach Leather. I looked up, I didn't even look up North Beach Leather. I looked up Michael Hoban to see what his pieces were selling for. And guys, they are nothing to sneeze at. They had tons of listed like leather jackets and everything like that selling for between $100 and $200, sometimes more. And I didn't see many leather like pants. So I think that's actually gonna work in my favor. These are amazing. They are so cool. I hope you guys can see the details on the leather in the camera because they have all this seaming going on. And then the zipper on the bottom here goes all the way up to basically, I would say the knee. They're really cool. They have a lot of great design features to them. And I think I can probably resell these for over $100, which is amazing. They do have one flaw. There's a little bit of a tear right here to the outer of the leather. There's, it's not like a very, it's not a hole that goes all the way through. It's just a surface like kind of tear. So they're not in perfect condition, but for it being 100% genuine leather, black pants, these are insane. I think that they're so cool. I'm going to, have to find a size on these. I would say that these look like they are a size 10. Maybe if I undid the buckle, it might be a little bit larger, but probably for a size, I would say probably a 10 is pretty accurate for these. A pair of 100% genuine leather pants. I got those for $6.99. They didn't have a tag on them. I looked everywhere. I was scared that they weren't gonna sell them to me. And then they said at the register that they would give them to me for $9.99. I asked if I could have them for a little bit less because of the hole developing on the back, and they did. They gave them to me for $6.99, and I was very grateful, very happy with that, and hopefully I can resell them for close to 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less, but even so, I think that was a complete win, and I'm really happy with those pants. I think they're so beautiful. So that was basically my whole day. We went garage sailing, we went to DC, we went thrifting. It was an amazing time, I had so much fun, and I'm so glad I got to take you guys along with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Also, hit subscribe if you're not already. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.